British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is facing growing public outrage. He's under pressure over allegations that he and his staff flouted lockdown rules in 2020 to hold a garden party. This after the media obtained a leaked email invitation to the gathering sent to more than 100 people. It was particularly warm and sunny in Britain in May 2020, presenting a stark contrast to the troubled times as the first coronavirus wave brought death, lockdowns and social restrictions to the UK. It depends on all of us, the entire country, to follow the advice. There will be penalties for those who break these mandatory measures. This public service announcement made clear that residents can only meet with people they don't live with, outside and individually. Then there's what happened in Downing Street. On May 20th, Martin Reynolds, Boris Johnson's private secretary, invited 100 employees round for drinks in the garden in order to enjoy the sunshine during these troubled times, as he wrote. Attendees must provide their own beverages. 30 came, including the prime minister and his wife. That's according to witnesses. And this isn't the only pandemic party that's putting Johnson under pressure. Several Christmas parties and this meeting for wine and cheese, for example, are raising eyebrows. And the open alcohol consumption is blowing holes in the claims that they were work meetings. I think he should go. I mean, there's no, ex no excuses and it would come as no surprise that I don't think Boris Johnson is up for the job. But more importantly, I think he's lost the confidence of the British public now with his lies, his deceit and his breaking of his own rules. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Johnson is also losing support in his own party after a series of scandals, mistakes and court corrections. This idea that, you know, the people that were telling us about all these restrictions on our lives, we're, we're off having, you know, gin and tonic in the back garden. It, it's, you know, it is beyond belief. It is indefensible. Johnson is a prime minister who loves headlines, but the last several weeks have only brought bad news. And it's getting uncomfortable for him now that many Britons have started to turn their back on the jovial Johnson. I quite like Boris, but I'm very disappointed by this news. Um... I don't believe most of the things he says now because of this. And even to do with COVID still, um, anything that he speaks about on the news, I just think it's lies. When asked if he was at the party himself, Johnson remained cagey. All, all of that, as you know, is the subject of a, uh, a proper uh, investigation by Sue Gray. The lead investigator will publish her findings soon and will know if this was one party too many for Boris Johnson.